It's Monday, and that means News 6 anchor Eric Von Aiken is getting results at home. He joins us now from Ace Hardy. I gotta confess something to you. I hate painting, but I do it myself because it saves me a ton of money, and I know you could do this too. But where do you start? Here at Ace, they carry Benjamin Moore paint, and there are really three different levels. This is their Ben brand. It's their everyday brand, and the Ben Moore rep tells me that this is for someone who's just starting out, maybe someone who's never painted before. He says it's easy to make this paint look good on your walls. Then they have their mid-grade, their Regal brand. He says contractors seem to prefer this. And this is their high-end stuff. It's the Aura brand. And I should tell you that this is about twice the cost of their Ben brand, about $90 versus about $48. And we also should tell you it might take an extra coat if you use the Ben brand versus the really good stuff. So the next question is, how do you want your wall to look and feel? Do you want it to be really shiny, which is good for being able to wash off dirt and fingerprints, or do you want it to be really flat? Well, it starts with semi-gloss, which typically is used for painting trim, but then it goes down to satin, a little less shiny, that you could totally use for a wall, then down to eggshell, which is even less shine, and then it ends with matte, which is totally flat. Here's what the Benjamin Moore expert recommends. However, the standard product for most homes and most office spaces is an eggshell, which is a little bit glossier. Um, still allows for, for the chance to maybe hide some, some mistakes that might have happened in the, in the joint work or something like that, but easy to apply and gets a really nice even level finish. And then the last part of all of this is your painting supply. So Russ, the guy from Ben Moore, says a general rule is the more you spend on paint, the more you should spend on your paint brushes and your rollers. And make sure for this type of paint, water-based interior latex, you're getting a synthetic paint brush. Just make sure it says for all paints on the brush. And for rollers, the rule is the thinner the texture on your wall, the thinner the roller. If you got something really thick, like heavy knockdown texture on your wall, then you want to use a thick roller. All right, I think we got everything. Now, next time when I see you again, we're going to go paint. And remember, in the meantime, if you got a project at your house you'd like us to tackle, send me an email at gettingresultsathome at wkmg.com, and next week we might just show up at your house. For now, at Ace Oviedo, Eric Von Aiken, Getting Results, News 6.